For my latest project, I wanted to use the CNC uh, to carve in a, a fancy uh, set of inlays uh, into this semi-hollow guitar. And so what I want to do is, is carve out the inside here and then have a uh, similar eighth inch uh, carving around the outside for, for purfling. Unfortunately, I ended up messing this up by not accounting for um, where I placed the clips for the CNC machine. And so eventually the router actually bumped one of the clips, which throws off where the, um, the computer thinks it is. And so it ended up you know, making a mess out of the outside. And so what I ended up doing um, was taking a one inch chisel and actually chiseling off the whole end here. And so what you can see is now I have a raised panel, a hard edge, um, and then you know this, this lower area. And this is how you usually start off doing an arch top. Now I wasn't planning on doing a, a carved top here, uh, but I'm not really sure how, how I would fix this any other way. And so uh, I ended up buying a scraper set um, which has a, a gooseneck scraper, which is the one that has all the uh, curves bent into it. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sharpen up my scrapers here, and then I'm gonna try and actually round over this edge to see if I can do kind of a pseudo carve top um, and, and sort of resurrect this project. And so uh, I'm not gonna take a whole lot of time on camera to do the sharpening, um, but what I will do is um, show you how the gooseneck scraper works and whether or not it saves my project. So if you're not familiar, this is what a gooseneck scraper looks like. I just took it out of the packaging. You can actually feel that there's already a burr on this. And so I'm going to try and use it without sharpening. Uh, obviously, I'm not going to be able to make it through this entire project without sharpening it. But um, given that there's already a burr here, I'm going to try and try it out. And if you've never used a card scraper before, um, it works similar to a plane where you can push against the, uh, you know, go with the grain and actually take shavings off. And so the reason why this is shaped like this is there's all sorts of different arcs you can choose. And just to make it easy on myself, uh, I'm gonna use this bottom arc here, uh, just about the center. And so when I end up pushing this across, um, you're gonna, I'm gonna try and start working away this hard edge here um, and then get closer and closer. And then what I'm gonna use this edge that I've already done is what I'm going to do is, is use that as my, my target point. And so what can end up happening here is there could be actually a little bit of a, a scallop going back up to the edge here. I've measured out my wood and it's 3 16 of an inch. And so I should have plenty here um, to not you know have to be too particular. Um, there's also a center block going down the middle. So this is relatively well supported. And so I'll put this on time lapse and kind of start getting into it. And then we'll see what the results are. Only a few minutes into sharpening, you can already see the edge that's being uh, created here. Um, using, a, using the gooseneck uh, scraper uh, looks like it's going to be a very good way to uh, work through this problem. Um, you know, I said that I was going to take a gamble that it was actually sharp. Um, it is. It's actually working really well. The way apparently you can tell is when your scraper is uh, throwing off chips like this, it's um, set up the right way. And then once you start creating a lot more dust, then you need to sharpen it again. And so I still will plan to uh, sharpen this um, during the, the top here, uh, but I'm going to keep going. Um, another thing that was really surprising to me is uh, this generates a lot of heat. Um, the, the card scrapers are made out of steel. Um, you're obviously shaving the wood, um, you know, a lot of friction. And so I end up needing to stop every 30 seconds or so uh, just to give my hands a break uh, and let everything cool off. But um, this does look like this is going to be successful. So now I'm going to go around, um, try and do all the edges and then um, see what it looks like.
at 20 to 30 minutes in, um, you can already see you know, a nice carve taking shape. Uh, I can't believe, honestly, that it, it's so easy to get started with uh, this type of scraper. Uh, that said, this is really tough on your hands. Um, I'm going to try and keep going a little more, uh, but I can almost guarantee this is going to take two sessions um, for me to, to finish the carve uh, on top here. Um, just because you have to push so hard and, and kind of flex the steel to tighten it up a little bit, um, it really kind of, you know, tests your grip strength. And so um, well, it looks like I also have a cut right in the middle of my hand. So um, maybe I have to do a little bit more research. Maybe I just need tougher hands. Um, but we'll see. You know, I'll do a little bit more of this, uh, take a break, and then uh, come back when my hands are refreshed. the next morning and I'm taking a look at uh, all the work I did yesterday, I spent about two and a half hours uh, scraping the edge here and, and I've gotten, I would say, you know, 85% done. I still have uh, a little bit of area up here that I need to um, refine and that I didn't even start this section here. Um, but ultimately, you know, from here all the way around uh, up to here, uh, you know, I was able to complete yesterday. And overall, I'm, I'm really happy with, with how this uh, turned out. Um, you know, scrapers are one of those things, sort of like uh, hand planes, where people talk about how great they are. Uh, but for a beginner, you know, it could be pretty difficult. Um, so much of that has to do with not only learning the technique, but also learning to read the grain of the wood um, and then the sharpening piece. And, and that's where I'm stuck right now. Um, as easy as it looks to, um, you know, sharpen a, a piece of steel like this, um, it wasn't as easy um, as the video is kind of implied. And so I need to work on that a little bit, um, get my edges back up so that I can finish up this project. Um, the other thing that's a, a little bit tough about uh, doing this process, um, which was expected, was uh, when I got into this section here, the, the bottom edge, uh, I was essentially scraping uh, across the grain instead of with the grain, and uh, it was a lot more difficult. Um, I think that was compounded by the fact that I'm using curly maple, um, and so the grain is, is going in, in wild directions as it is. Um, but really, all I had to do was just keep trying, going this way, see if it worked, go back the other way, see if it worked, try and refine things a little bit. At one point, I used a half round file, um, that really, uh, you know, wasn't the best way to go. Um, but overall, you know, from where I started on this project to where it ended up, uh, I definitely have something that's aesthetically pleasing. I, I think if I go around, you know, either scrape it with a really sharp uh, scraper, do a little bit of sanding, uh, I think I'll have a nice curve here. Um, obviously, I need to do stuff at the top here, need to work on some inlays. Um, but as I said, I'm really pleased with, with how this sort of saved my project. I went from having a CNC mistake to now um, doing my first carved top guitar. If you like content like this, please hit like and subscribe. Hit the notification button. Uh, as a small channel, I'm not making any money from this. Um, all of my views uh, come from the YouTube recommender. And so, um, you know, any interaction, comments, um, you know, they all help out. And uh, until next time, thanks for watching, and I will uh, see you for the next build.